time, you're on. You pick lab time. Ooh. And you pick lab <laughs> time is quality time. Believe you me. All right, just listen <laughs> to what we've got coming up this afternoon. Okay, I'm we've got the Nick.com pick, Candace. We've got the head to head pick. We've got a prize wall. We've got a chocolate of Nick's. Got it all. And what else? 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 What and Drake Bell for the new Nick show. Drake and Josh hanging out with us yesterday. That was a blast. Yes, it was, <laughs> Candace. You can say that again. Uh, that was a blast. Yes, Candace. <laughs> and their show premieres Sunday at 7.30, 6.30 Central on Nickelodeon. And the great news is Drake and Josh are going to be back today for even more You Pick Madness. Speaking of which, shouldn't they be here by now? Yeah, you're right. You should. On, your watch? On my watch yeah. there. What's, what's keeping them so long? I don't know. Maybe they get stuck in traffic or something. Well, I guess we better get the show started and then we can catch up with them later. Yeah, we'll catch up with them later. That's okay. cool. Okay. Oh, wait, there they are. Oh, Those prankers. Come on out, guys. Brent, I don't think they can. Okay, maybe this will help here. Oh, get them right here. Okay. Uh, nope. Yeah, that definitely didn't work, huh? Try okay, it again. Try it again. Okay, right there. Go. What are pirates? Pirates? <laughs> See the hat? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what's going on, but it's pretty funny. Change it. Here we go, guys. Oh, what? God. That's a terrible wig. Okay, yeah, uh, this is probably going to take a while, so why don't you guys just watch the Fairly Odd Parents? Okay, here's Fairly Odd Parents. And now, 10 seconds with Brent. On today's 10 seconds with Brent, the part of Brent will be played by TV's Drake and Josh. Uh, hi, I'm Brent. Me too, I guess. This has been 10 Seconds with Brent. Hey, who left these raisins out here? I said, who left these raisins out here? Hey, you can kiss them goodbye if nobody claims them. Nobody? All right, they're mine. And even though they're millions of years old, they've still retained a surprisingly soft texture. <laughs> hey! Who stole my snot fossils? Those are worth a lot of money. I gotta get them back. Hey, let's go find my snot fossils, Cal! Who stole my snot fossils? All right, so I'm definitely gonna need a hero sandwich, uh, light on the mayo, a bag of pretzels, some 2% milk, none of that 1% stuff. That's just not gonna cut it, all right? But are, are you sure there's no one else? Listen, it's a you pick tradition that our guests get my snacks. Uh, but no, no, you know, no, there's no buts. When I come to your show and I'm a guest on your show, I'll get someone to get your snacks. How's that sound? All right, great. Deli's that way. So, uh, I'll see you later, okay? Like You're watching You Pick Live, and right now it's time for the Nick.com pick. You've been voting between Yakety Yak, Rocket Power, and Chalk Zone. Let's see the results, Uncle Plasma. Uh, yeah, but, but wait a second. I is he really Brent's uncle? Of course. He's Brent's mother's father's cousin, aunt, sister's brother. Say that again. He's Brent's mother's father's cousin's aunt, sister's brother. Oh, okay, just checking. Uh, all right, let's see the winner. Impressive picking, guys. Thanks for choosing Chalk Zone. And be sure to choose Drake and Josh this Sunday, 7.36, 30 Central. Uh, dude, dude, don't, don't you think that was a little pushy? Oh, uh, you know, if, if it doesn't inconvenience you too much. Lovely. Yeah, woohoo, yeah! You're watching You Pick Live. All right, I'm zany, yeah! <laughs> Look, Brent, I can do a handshake, yeah! Oh, oh, uh, oh, doctor? Oh, uh, oh, we could really use oh, a doctor over here. Oh, can't be on my right uh, side. I'm getting yep. cold, Drake. This has been I'm another You cold. Pick Live bad celebrity impression. Oh. Pick Boy here, and I gathered you all here to tell you that I have a problem. No, I know. I'm not afraid to admit it. Apparently, the hair you see on top of my head has become overgrown. I know. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut my hair live Monday on You Pick Live. But here's the catch. You guys are going to pick the haircut on Nick.com. You're going to choose between either a crew cut, a mohawk, or dyed orange and green. You guys go there, vote, pick it, 
I'll do it. That's the promise Pick Boy's gonna make. What do you think? I can make anything look good. I'm gonna go comb my hair while I still got a chance. Previously on As the World Picks. I know they made you honorary mayor, but I'm telling you, as your friend, you're making a lot of enemies. What are you trying to say? I'm saying there's an asteroid heading straight for you, Pig Live. I could have sworn I left my egg salad sandwich in here. I mean, it wouldn't just get up and walk away. Somebody tipped over the cow. Why? 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 And now, the latest installment of As the World Picks. The cows gained enough strength to reveal the identity of the tipper. You never did that? You owe Cal an apology. I'm sorry, Cal. It won't happen again, all right? Hey, hey, guys, I, I hate to interrupt, but... The asteroid is still heading for you, Pig Live! <gasps> See what happens next time on the dramatic episode of... As the world shifts. Greetings, Earthlings. You're watching the greatest picking program in the known universe, You Pick Live. And right now, we're going to help you get to know the You Pick family a little better in a segment we call Meet the Crew. Yes, Meet the Crew indeed. Say hello to Toby. Toby is You Pick's official lounger handler. What exactly does lounger handler mean, Toby? Ah, uh, well, it's my job to keep an eye on the loungers at all times. I bring them into the studio, tell them where to sit, answer their questions, and basically make sure their visit to you pick is as pleasant as possible. Wow, that's great. Now, now how'd you get this job? Uh, well, I guess I got it because I get along really well with kids. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's great. Can you tell us how... Hey, 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 can't you see I'm busy? Go back over there and sit down. But can I have a drink of water? See, I said sit down now. What? I really need to drink of water. Oh. What you need is a timeout. Oh, Toby. Uh, <laughs> wow. Now, don't move from that chair until I tell you. Now, uh, sorry, Brent, uh, for that interruption. But what I was, uh, as I was saying, I, okay. I'm just really great with kids. Yeah, 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 you, know, you I... seem like it. That's great. That's all the time we have for Meet the Crew today. Here's more SpongeBob. <laughs> um... Are, are, you, are you okay? Did you really no. think it was appropriate to handle it that way? Um, I just um, wanted... Is you pick people a little cuckoo, don't you think? Yeah, you could say that. And, and now they've got some uh, bizarre daily challenge in store for us. I wonder what it is. I had no idea. But something tells me we should have left the studio when we had the chance. Yeah, good point. Uh, dude, I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> Here, shoes off. That'll help. Oh, oh, oh. oh. On. Hey, you're hanging with you pick. And the stars of the Nick Show, Drake and Josh, are hanging out with us. So, how's your you pick experience been so far, guys? Oh, it's been great. I'm having so much fun. Fantastic. Well, uh, we'll see how you feel if it's going to be the same way after today's daily challenge. And right. Candace has cooked up something special for this one. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys are voting at Nick.com. See Drake and Josh impersonate one of these three celebrity duos: the Olsen twins, Ben Affleck and J Lo, or Brent and Candace. Uh huh. That's us. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see who it's going to be. Uncle Plasma, give us the results. The Olsen awesome Twins, my favorite. Okay, Mary Kate and Ashley, do your thing. Let's do it up. I don't know what it is, but do it. Come on. That outfit makes you look super cute, Mary Kate. And I love these earrings, Ashley. 
I've got an idea. Let's fly to an exotic location and have an adventure. Cool. <laughs> Landing gear. Boom. It sure is beautiful in this exotic city. Oh, look, a treasure map. <gasps> Let me see. Oh, there goes Antonio. I love him. I love him, Mary Kate. No, no, I'm Ashley. I'm Ashley. No, I'm Ashley. I'm Ashley. I'm Ashley. I'm Ashley. You can look at long hair, short. I'm Ashley. Oh, short hair, so long hair. Thank Ashley. you so much, Drake and Josh, on that daily challenge. That was fantastic. That was great. You Thanks guys picked it at Nick.com. All right, now let's get back to the Amanda show. I have to say, it looks a little more like Kurt Cobain than, than, <laughs> than Ashley. Did. I think this is a different look for me. You pick live. But first, we're going to take a trip to the magical land of Prize Wall, where 15 prizes hide behind 14 and 5A stores. And somewhere lying in wait is the legendary Bucket of Box. It sounds too good to be true, Brent. It is true, Candace. And it is good. It and is it good. is coming up next. I can't. They say it couldn't be done. A wall of prizes, 14 and 5A stores big, filled with things both indescribably wonderful and fabulously, unspeakably silly, including the fabled bucket of box, spectacular lucite cylinder filled with $147.49 in living, breathing cash. People laughed at the idea of such a wall. Scientists thumbed their noses. Cats and dogs refused to listen. But you pick live proved them all wrong. Because right here, right now, it stands among us. The uncanny prize wall. It's alive! Alive! <laughs> Yes, thank you so All much. Right. I've always wanted to do that. I know you did. Man. <laughs> Since Brent gave you the entire scoop <sighs> on the prize wall, well, yeah, sort of. Yeah, yeah. Let's get Pick Boy in here to pick us a lounger. Oh, Pick Boy! Pick Boy! Dude, the hair, man. I know. It's getting cut on Monday. The guys okay. are going to pick it on this top top. All right, okay. What's the name, guys? Oh, oh, see you. Come on up. Say it next to Hi, what's your name? Alexandria. And which door do you want? Um, number 12. Number 12. Door number 12. Door number 12. <laughs> you won. Boy, assortment of athletic balls and accessories for the sporting season. Tough construction technologies from Fitness Care Incorporated. Technologies. <laughs> 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 History book that said that there was a robbery in 1586. <gasps> Great gum! Let's use our magical tennis rackets to travel through time and solve the crime. No doubt, no doubt. But first, let me play a rock and solo for you on my new guitar. Okay. <laughs> What are you guys awesome. doing? Uh, hey. uh, we're just uh, doing a parody of your new TV show where you guys travel through time and solve crimes. Woo! <laughs> That's not what our show's about at all. We play two. Really? We play two guys who become stepbrothers because his mom marries my dad. Yeah, and Josh likes the school newspaper and doesn't know how to talk to girls. But Drake is too cool for school. He'd rather play basketball or go practice with his band. Yeah, we couldn't be more different, and now we have to share a room. Well, what about the traveling through time and fighting crime? Yeah! That's a little too weird. On the contrary, I think it's a perfectly awesome idea for a new TV show. Brent. What? You were just using this sketch as an opportunity for one of your weird TV ideas. No, I wasn't. It's nothing to do with them. Um, uh, it's time to go. Uh, that's all the time we have for it. Uh, oh, we'll be back with Drake and Josh after this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This doesn't. Welcome to 
another edition of Candace's Corner. Today's subject is pomegranates, nature's wonder fruit. Now packed with healthy antioxidants, the pomegranate was first this cultivated. This way, people, this way. Let's have some room over here. Let's fill it in. Come on now. Um, it was first cultivated by the Egyptians who considered the pomegranate a symbol of strength. All right, this beauty. part of you pick studio tour is called Candace's Corner, where host Candace Bailey talks to you pick live viewers about a variety of fascinating and useful subjects, like different things. Oh, you okay, know. well, uh, add one cup of pomegranate juice, a tablespoon of cider vinegar, two eggs, and a pinch of salt. Stir vigorously. You know, one fascinating little tidbit about Candace's Corner, <laughs> it's not actually a corner. <laughs> Any questions? Yeah, yeah, I have one. Could you please move on so I can finish my segment? I'm trying to talk about pomegranates. I'm a what -a? <laughs> Anyway, our next stop will be the private dressing room of UPIC co-host Brent Pavolizio. And if we hurry, we might just catch him in his underwear. Come on! <laughs> Sorry about that distraction. In summation, pomegranates rock. For Candace's Corner, I'm Candace. Catch you later, and remember, I care. Josh, what are you doing? Stop bringing people in my dressing room! I can't believe this! Get out! Hey, 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 you're watching You Pick Live. Thank yes. you so much to Drake Bell and Josh Peck for hanging out with us for the past two days. Yes, it was class. awesome, guys. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you so much We had much so much here. fun. That What's your really? favorite part? Being with you. Wow. Being Thank with you. you. No, he needs the, the, the inclusive oh, you, Oh, obviously. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely, right. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, that think, was your uh, part too? I think uh, doing the Olsen twins thing, I think, was, that was, was pretty funny. funny. The Olsen yeah. twins yeah. is great. Yeah. I like the landing gear. They've got competition. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah, watch out, yeah. watch out, watch yeah. out. All right, so there's a brand new Nick series. It's Drake and Josh premiering this Sunday at 7.30, 6.30 Central. Can now, I can guarantee you do not want to miss this show. Be there, be there, be there. All right, coming up next, we've got the head-to-head, -head, so stay tuned. Guys, thanks. thanks High five. High five. Oh, God. Oh, God. You guys are awesome. Head-to-head. -head. You guys are awesome. Sketchers, head-to-toe. Ske hey, everybody. We're back with the final pick of the day. You guys are going to love this pick. It's the head-to-head. -head. I, I need to make, be able to make H's <laughs> yeah. with my fingers. Two Nick Tunes <laughs> enter. <laughs> Only one will leave today. Yes. You've been voting at Nick.com between Wednesday's champion, My Life as a Teenage Robot, versus the new challenger, All Grown Up. Yes, the votes have been racking up for two days. It's time to find out who's claiming victory, and that's only being told by Uncle Plasma. No question about it. All Grown Up is the winner. All Grown Up's the winner. All right. What is that? Didn't we say goodbye to those guys in the last segment? Yeah, but I guess you gotta give them points for persisting. Yeah, that's true. They really want us to watch our show. So we'll be watching their show, of course, right now. Enjoy All Grown Up, and we'll see you guys on Monday at 4, 3 Central. See you there.